Hey everyone and welcome back to this new video uploading here on the channel of Game Time Life. Now in this video, because it was requested and there were a lot of question marks about it, I'm going to be showing you the female version for the updated director mode glitch working after the latest patch of 1.46. So this will be featuring the full tutorial including the safe methods, choosing an outfit, bringing it online, but because people find it hard with like the previous director mode upload because I included the joggers methods, people didn't really know what to do. So that's why I am going to be showing you a normal tutorial here, searching a normal outfit, not using the joggers methods. So I think it will help you out much better to understand the director mode glitch. So I will try to explain it as good as possible. So let's get straight started with this glitch. So we're going to be starting off in single player and you want to make your way over to director modes. Now before we're going to be starting with this glitch, you want to go over to the shortlisted actors and just simply hit triangle and remove everything that is inside of your shortlisted actors. So once it is all the way empty, you can go to the actors, you can go to the online characters and you can simply hit triangle on the character what you want to shortlist. So if you want to do this with a male character, it's fine. Um, like I said, it was a female tutorial, so I'm going to be shortlisting my female with the tri triangle option. So once that is shortlisted, you want to back out of here and you want to go to the animal section and shortlist any of your birds um, with triangle 2. So if you do not have a bird inside director mode, take a look at the video link in the description box down below. It's basically a peyote plant which you must eat in order to get the birds inside of director mode. So now that you have your birds and your online character shortlisted, if, you want, if you're going to the shortlist actors, you should see your online character of your choice, the female or the male or whatever, and you should see the birds. So if you got that set, you're good to go. Just simply hit uh, back and just go to story modes. And inside of story mode, you want to press pause. You want to go to the online tab and just simply make your way over to GTA 5 invite only session so we can start with the glitch. So once you're here in a GTA 5 online session, you want to make your way over to this week's time trial. Now, this video was made yesterday, so that means the time trial will be right here on this point. I checked it today. And you want to go over there with either your personal vehicle or just a random street vehicle. Now, also what I did is I just put on this female outfit. You can find this outfit under the standard female outfit section. Just simply put it on and just simply remove your earrings. Now, if you got that outfit on, you can just simply trigger a yellow save icon in the bottom right corner by putting on a rebreather and taking it off or whatever. So if you have the yellow save icon trigger it, it's okay. Now, here's the thing for some people who cannot find a time trial, you want to open up your interaction menu, go to hide options, go to other, and there you will see time trial. So make sure you set that to show and then it should be okay. You should see the time trial on your map. And if you got it set to show, then if you take a look at the pause screen, you should also see that it's right here on the screen. And you can make your way over right here with either your personal vehicle or a street vehicle. So um, also make sure that your location is set over to last location. And if you did all these steps, you're here at the time trial with a car. You're wearing a standard outfit and you have your location set to last location. And you've triggered a yellow save icon at the right corner. Then you can now start the time trial. So you want to hit right on the D-pad, then you want to open up your pause menu once it is has started. You want to go to the online tab and make your way over to creator. I'm, uh, I'm always using this creator method because if I hold down on the D-pad and just switch over to Franklin, it gets stuck in the clouds. So make sure you go over to creator and from there exit to GTA 5 single player. So once you are here in single player with any of the characters, you want to hold down the interaction menu button to open up the menu and you want to go straight back inside of direct mode. Now from this point, your birds will already start duplicating because you've triggered the yellow save icon. And before we started, we just, you know, shortlisted the online character and the birds. So you want to go to the shortlisted actors and from here, if you scroll between the crowd or the birds and your online character, you should see that the birds start duplicating. So if they start duplicating, just like you see here on the screen, then all you have to do is grab yourself a, a elastic or a rubber band and just tie it around your joystick. 
and your controller so that it keeps swapping between the online character and the birds so you do not have to use your thumb all the way through this glitch. This process with duping can take up to 25 minutes of your time so in the meantime you can do something else but you have to stay at the screen because in the end it will jump over to the um, bill of hay. So basically the bird will be replaced with the online character so your online character will be hopping over on top of there. So if your character is going on top of there then it knows you can now start with the outfit glitch and you can start searching your outfits for the female character. So I'm just going to fasten this part until my character gets on top of there. Now if you're having the issue that your birds doesn't, don't start duplicating then all you have to do is return back over to the online session and you simply put on a parachute and just start the time trial again, exit to creator and then it should start duplicating so then you should be okay. So I'll see you guys back in a second once they have duped. Now I've been waiting for around 30 minutes right now I think and the birds have duplicated a lot. So as you can see in this swing it like took me on top of the hill of, or the bale of hay. Still having issues with that word. But once it is standing on top there you have to act quickly. All you have to do is you want to back out of the shortlist. You want to go to the actors and just simply go to the beach bumps. So I'm just slowing this down for you guys so you can see it. And then you should see that your female or male character is wearing a default outfit. The hairstyle might be gone just like you see here on the female. And now from this point you can hit square and just change the appearance of your online character. And you should see all these outfits appear on your screen. Now from this point I'm not going to be doing the joggers method like I explained so I'm just going to be searching one of these outfits through here. Now the fun thing is that you can also add a IA badge to it. I have footage of that so I will show you that. I also have a whole gameplay basically set of uh, the IA badge. I will link that through in the description box down below for the IA badge. Okay, so basically you can pick any of these outfits, but a must that has been on there is it doesn't need any blacklisted items. So, for example, the Christmas pants or the juggernaut sweater that you're seeing right here on the screen or um, any other items like the cop belts, you know, things that are not in the game, those will be considered blacklisted. So, sometimes some of those uh, modded race gloves will not transfer to online because they might have been blacklisted some people can bring them online also do not use the beast hands i did manage to get an outfit online with beach beach beast <laughs> beast hands but it's still a little bit difficult so i suggest not to do that so also i think your outfit needs to have a christmas mask just like the one you see here on screen it's like the mr's claus mask you can use that one the only two type of Christmas masks that you cannot use are the regular Santa masks, so not the bad Santa, those will work, but the regular mask won't work, and the hockey Christmas mask will not work. So keep that in mind, those will not transfer online, and also the bodysuit uh, mask will not transfer online. So I'm just going to be searching myself an outfit which is compatible, and then I'll see you guys back in a second. So after a little bit of searching, I have found this outfit right here on the screen. Now, if you have an outfit that you would like to use in order to bring it online, you just want to hit triangle and shortlist that outfit so you can just pick it right there and you will not lose it. Now in the footage right here, you can actually see that I glitched the IAA badge on. So like I said before, um, I have a gameplay of that in the description box down below in how order how to like get the IA badge on there. So basically what you're doing for the IA badge is just removing your online character and the bird so you only have your outfit there. Then just shortlist one other outfit. I had three outfits there. And then just scroll through them by pressing up on the D-pad and pressing square real quickly. And then you can go to the actors and the beach bums and just search for your IA badge. And if you have found one you don't want, do not want to shortlist it, you just want to back out Go to the shortlist and the IA badge transfers over to all of your outfits. So it's really, really easy to do. So now that I have the IA badge transferred on my outfit, I'm just going to grab the outfit by pressing X and then it will go straight inside of director mode. So now we're going to be saving it and bringing it online. So inside director mode, wait a couple of seconds, uh, around 10 or 15 seconds. Then you want to hold down on the D-pad and switch over to any story mode character. 
And on this alert right here, you want to wait around five seconds and then just hit X to accept it. So now if everything went okay and your game didn't crash, you should spawn in story mode wearing that outfit. If you got blue screen and there is no fix for it, I'm sorry, but you have to try again. So if you do manage to spawn a single player with the outfit, then you've hit three fourths of the glitch. You can now just press pause, you can go to the online tab and you can go straight over to creator. Now actually it will not bring you over to creator, but just to an online session. Now, because of the fixed method, you will spawn in online, and if you catch a glimpse of your outfit, then it means that it has brought over online and you're good to go. Now, if you still see the standard outfit on either your male or your female character, then it means um, it didn't bring online for any kind of reason. But if you do see the outfit right there, immediately after that, you get an alert message. So if you see the alert message, all you have to do is wait around 10 seconds and then hit X and it should take you back inside of single player. Now if you're back in single player, you can make your way back over to an invite only session. If you get stuck in the clouds while loading back to single player, just close down GTA 5, restart it and also go back to an invite only session. So now if you're back in an invite only session, you should see your character wearing that outfit and you can now just make your way over to the nearest closed door and save it. Now we're not done because it can be that this outfit still doesn't save on your character. So I'm going to be showing you right here what to do about that. So I'm here at the clothes store and I just save it this outfit right there in my save it outfits list. So um, what I basically did is I just simply removed the parachute and this is what the outfit looks like. And if you got it save it and you've seen the yellow save icon in the bottom right corner, all you have to do is just find a new session. Check back in the clothes store and see if your outfit is still there. If your outfit is still there, you're good to go. And yeah, basically the outfit has saved it. And you can start again by grabbing a new outfit if you want to. And just fill up as many slots as you want. So this was basically the female tutorial on the director mode glitch with the updated save methods and the IA badge glitch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if it worked. Subscribe to the channel of Game Time Life for more glitches and outfits and turn on post notifications to get informed with the newest videos uploading here. And I hope to see you guys back in the next video here on the channel of Game Time Life. Bye everyone!